Hi guys! I wanted to come on here and make a quick video about my upcoming Foothills Trail trip. I have my backpack decided, I have my tent decided, and I know that in conversing with you guys through certain messaging systems that I was up in the air and you all were interested in what I was going to be taking with me. For starters, the Foothills Trail is 77.6 miles, I think. I have that correct. And uh, we are planning on doing, I'm going with Robin, my friend Robin, who you've seen uh, several times. We plan on doing it probably in about six days. Uh, we have eight days to do it. And I guess there's a possibility we could do it in five, but we really like to enjoy ourselves. So I think we're going to try to do it in six days. So I won't get into all the gear stuff because, you know, everybody has variations of the same thing, but I did want to tell you because I have used a couple different backpacks and now a couple different tents, what I've decided on. I would love to tell you that I'm going to take my ULA circuit. This was my first real backpacking backpack. I used, um, I think a Magellan the first two times maybe that I went backpacking um, before I realized that this is definitely what I want to do. And this was the first uh, backpacking backpack that I actually bought. I did all of my research. I really want to love the ULA circuit. I know so many people do. I don't know if it's my body type or, you know, you have to order these. And I did go to REI to get measured for this before I ordered it or measured, you know, with my, um, they measure you at your iliac crest, uh, where your hips kind of lay, and then they measure you at your, is it C6 or C7, but it, the hump in your back. I did all that, um, so I don't know what it is about this pack that does not fit comfortably, but it does not. Um, I, uh, the hip belt, or the, the, ba the bottom of the backpack always, like, hangs low, so that's why I think that maybe it's not the proper fit. And, but then whenever I get it all jostled up and, and you know, it pulls on my shoulders. So I probably, I don't know if I'll sell this. I've used it many times. I really want it to work and I will probably keep it because I like to go up to Mount Leconte where you can stay the night. And so I don't have to pack it as heavy. And if it's, if it doesn't have everything in it and I'm not going very far, I can handle it. So this is not the pack that's going with me. Instead, it is my tried and true that I always carry or have with me anymore. And that's the Osprey Aura 65 liter. It's the female version, uh, 65 liter. I absolutely love this pack. In fact, I'm actually going to put the brain on it and I never hike with the brain. Um, so I... I think that it'll carry everything well. I don't plan on carrying a whole lot of extra stuff. I just want to try that brain and see if I like it or if it bothers me or what have you. I did use it on a uh, local hike, a local like overnight backpacking trip, and it was fine. So this is the backpack that I'm using. Now, again, I wish that I could tell you that I absolutely love my Durston x -Mid one person tent. It's not the pro, it's the regular. Um, but I don't. And I have used it in three backpacking trips now. And I've tried all the things. This last trip, we got to camp way early, Robin and I both, because we both bought these around the same time last year. And we were going to use it the first trip last um, March, whenever she fell and broke her arm. And she hasn't yet used hers um, until last weekend. And uh, we had plenty of time and, you know, we were going back and forth. We had Wi-Fi so that we could watch Dan Durston's video. He does an excellent job of explaining things. I may have some pictures I can insert here, but we got excellent pitches. The pitch is not the problem, but I don't, I, I have less room than obviously my Nemo two-person tent, but I just don't like how the sides come in and I've got it anchored out. I, I don't feel like... I can get all of my gear inside and placed around me like I like to do. I know that sounds very, you know, weird, but we all have our different things that we like. And I just don't feel comfortable in it. I love the pockets in my Nemo. I'm not a fan of the pockets in this one. So I will be selling this. Uh, if any of you are interested, you can message me. I've been, well, here, I'll show you here in just a second. So this is, um, 
this is our basement, but um, I have, I've had this netting uh, portion of the tent out, kind of going through and making sure that I don't have any holes or any problems before I put it up for sale. And then um, this is the fly, which I need to, I think I need to clean this. So, um, but this is my Nemo. I have it up right now because I have these little bitty holes. You probably can't see it. Uh, tiny holes, uh, maybe about three of them. This, I've had this for four years, four and a half years now. Um, and it's just a workhorse for me. I just have those little, little holes. I've got the fly upstairs ready to be cleaned and waterproofed. Um, so I just wanted to get those holes filled on this, which I'll be doing here soon. But I just love this tent. There's no other way to say it. It's just, it's just my favorite tent. I'm glad I bought the Durston. I'm glad I tried it out. I like the concept of the trekking pole tent, but the trekking poles, I like to also have them, especially when I'm in the Smokies and almost any shelter that you're at for sure. And sometimes the campsites, the water isn't necessarily a long hike away, but maybe a steep hike away. And I found that I missed having those. And I think that when I do my Appalachian Trail through hike, by then, which I think is probably going to be a few years out, I may try the Z packs or I may go back to the Durst and, and, and try the Pro because I understand how um, convenient it is when you're through hiking. But at the same time, the Nemo isn't that much heavier, even with my poles. And uh, maybe I should have tried the Pro and, and gone with the Dyneema. I've never had a Dyneema tent, so maybe I should have tried that. I don't know, but that's down the road. For now, this Nemo, and maybe even for a through or that kind of through hike, this Nemo is going to be fine. So that's the big gear. I'm going to take my 20 degree quilt. I know we're we're a few weeks out, but by the time we get there, it's still going to be in the um, at night, the upper 30s, low 40s. So I'm taking my 20 degree quilt and all the other gear that you've seen me with. But I do plan on doing daily videos, but I probably won't put those out until I get home. I'm just trying to kind of get a feel for, I'm not sure. I know that people love to watch through hiking videos. And I think that there's a lot about it I, I would like but there's some things about it that make me not want to. So I'm going to use this hike to kind of maybe edit on my phone and that kind of thing and see if it's something I really think I'm going to be wanting to do on trail for six months. So anyway, look forward to those videos uh, coming out. It's going to be several weeks from now. Um, and I don't think I'll have any updates between now and then, but if I do, I will let you know. So happy trails. Thanks for watching.